Welcome to Tech Results with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about uh, how we can read the data from our on prem scissor and write to the Azure Blob Storage. Now, from the on prem scissor, when I'm talking about uh, you can read the data from your Excel, maybe you can read the data from your Oracle DB2, from your CSV file, Excel files, you know, and tons of other uh, sources that uh, you have available on your uh, on prem scissor. And uh, then uh, you would like to write that data to the Blob Storage. Once uh, you want to write to the data, the blob storage we will be using a flexible file destination that uh, provides us a different type of destination such as a text file or you know we can go with uh, some uh, other uh, like arrow or uh, parquet and the different ones as well so we are going to see those all now what we need to do as we are going to create this SSIS package we need some uh, uh, extra tools uh, to download and install. Uh, so the very first thing uh, we I'm going to show you how to create the blob storage and container. That's uh, because we need to upload the file uh, 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 file to the blob storage. So here I'm uh, on my portal and uh, I do not have anything. Just uh, I have my subscription and the resource group. Uh, I'm going to go to the storage account here and uh, we'll create uh, the storage. Uh, create. Uh, storage and here uh, we are going to select our subscription and uh, select our resource group uh, and I'm going to call this uh, Tech Brothers Storage uh, and just leave this one as it is. Now we are going to go ahead and hit create. Uh, Okay, our blob storage is created and the next step is we are going to create our container. We are going to go to container, it's like a folder. So you are going to click on container and we are going to give this input container or any name you would like to give. In this input, that's where we would like to save our file. And uh, from where we would like to read the data, we are going to read the data from my on-premises uh, SQL server. This is my on-premises SQL server and this is a Tech Brothers IT database uh, which has table uh, total sale. Uh, so if I will select the data, you can see right there, these are the record I would like to read from my local or on-premises SQL and write to the blob storage container that we just uh, created. Um, Okay, so in SSIS, uh, what we need, uh, if you have installed your uh, Visual Studio, simply what you're going to see, you're not going to, if you're in control flow in uh, Visual Studio 2019 or 17, uh, you're going to see this Azure uh, tab there, but it will be grayed out. Uh, why? Because you need to install uh, Azure uh, Feature Pack uh, to, to get all these uh, uh, tasks uh, and uh, then uh, if you go to the data flow you need to get uh, these uh, further source and destinations uh. so here see right there these are different uh, uh, sources and destinations come with the uh, Azure feature pack uh. so we'll be using flexible file destination uh, to write the data from our on-premises to the blob storage uh. as I said that uh, once uh, you open your uh, Visual Studio 2019 or 17 uh, this part will be grayed out uh. so how to bring all these tasks uh, and uh, these uh, sources and destination uh, what you are going to do you you're going to go to this uh, URL I'm um, will put in the description and then uh, you're going to download according to your environment in which uh, you would like to deploy your packages uh, in my case uh, I'm going to go for SQL Server 2019 so once you click right there it's going to open uh, a link for download once you click on download it's going to download uh, uh, this file for you so SSIS Azure Feature Pack and then you will right click and run as admin or install you know once you install it it's going to start installing those uh, all the uh, tasks and sources and destination for you and uh, then once you are done with installation you will just uh, simply uh, open a new project and uh, this uh, all uh, tasks will be available to you under this uh, Azure tab. So before that, as I told you, this will be grayed out. Once you install it, you're going to see that. So follow the steps as I explain. Download your uh, uh, Azure pack and then uh, uh, install. Um, you know by going to the download folder and you should be good to go now the very first thing uh, what we are going to do we are going to go ahead and create a new project in SSIS uh, so I open my Visual Studio and I'm creating SSIS uh, project um, and give any name what you like uh, now as I told you I would like to read the data from my uh, as you were sorry on-premises SQL so I'm going to use the data flow here I can uh, use all different other tasks uh, such as the execute SQL task or maybe I want to do something in my package so and you you I might have a hundred <laughs> different uh, tasks before you even load the data to your uh, blob storage but uh, this is a very, very simple quick demo so I'm going to use only one task here so we'll use the data flow task here and I need to read the data from my on-premises SQL so I can use the OLEDB source. 
So I can simply go to the task here and already be a source search for that and just bring that so once I have already be source I'm gonna double click here and now go to new and uh, I'm gonna delete this connection and uh, recreate new one so I'm gonna go right there and new and here I will be providing my on-premises a SQL database name so how I do that I'm gonna go right there and I will say select at the rate rate uh, server name and then uh, once I get my server name then I will paste it there Here, my database tech brothers, IT, and test connection, all looking good. Hit OK and hit OK. Now I can go in the drop down or write my command table or a view. That's fine. And I'm going to get the data from a total sale. Now I go to the columns here, and these are the columns in my table. Next part is very interesting where we will be reading this data. So we are all good here. Now I need the destination. And remember that we need the flexible uh, destination. So that's uh, where we will be able to write the data to the blob storage. So I'm going to get the flexible file destination here. And then I'm going to connect my source to it. Now double click on flexible files uh, destination. And here it is giving you, OK, file connection manager type. So it is uh, Azure storage. And then uh, it asks you new. Now, in the new, what it is going to ask you, it's going to have multiple ways, of, such as you want to connect to blob storage or maybe uh, data lake 2 or blob storage emulated. So you should choose whatever you want uh, according to the, this uh, uh, requirement. In my case, I remember we created the blob storage. We did not create the uh, data lake story too. But if you have uh, used uh, or needed to use a uh, data lake, you can use as well. In our case, let's go with the blob storage. And here's the name of that account. So if you remember that we have created this blob storage and the name of that was tech versus story db storage so i'm going to go back here and provide my name after that i will provide the access key so there are different ways to authenticate in my case i can use access key service principle or shared access signature so depend on whatever you want to use let's use access key in our case so we go back to our uh, can, uh, storage here and then uh, in the storage I go to the access keys here and then uh, I will say show keys and then uh, copy the key right here now once I copy the key I'm gonna go back here and just paste uh, now I can go ahead and uh, just test the connection and test uh, connection is uh, successful hit OK now it created the connection uh, for us um, now it is asking you folder path so that means it is the container name so in this case it's input remember that we have created input container right there so let me take your container and the name of the container is input so we are good here and now what name of the file you would like to create I'm gonna go ahead and just I will say total sale.csv and then it asks you which format so text is fine arrow ORC or Parquet. You can create these four different type of file uh, in by using a flexible file destination editor and uh, this will uh, write the data to your blob storage. Uh, now in my case I'm gonna be fine with text uh, because I have CSV file. Uh, now here you have a comma delimiter, column delimiter a character. In my case a comma is fine. If you want to use uh, maybe pipe sign or something else uh, you can use as well. Uh, now first row has a column. Uh, so this is of my header, uh, you know, that's going to have my column names. Uh, now in the compression, do you want to compress the file? So there are multiple options. Uh, you have gzip, you have uh, de flat and uh, bz, uh, bzip too. So there are different uh, compression of uh, the files available. In my case, I'm going to just leave this uh, as it is. Uh, go to mapping now and uh, you can see your inputs columns here and you can see the destination uh, columns. Uh, let's uh, hit OK and we're all good here. Now. I can go ahead and uh, right click on my package and execute package. It should read the data from my on premises SQL and write to the my uh, blob storage container and it will be CSV file. So it has a red lemon rose and has written a lemon rose to the file. Let's go ahead and take a look in the file. This is our blob storage and our container is input. I'm going to refresh and we have our total sale file created. Click right there and then uh, you can go to edit and take a look on all those records. Uh, so this is how you will, uh, you know, read the data and the write to the blob storage. Uh, there could be some problems with data conversion and all that. Uh, so you have to go further and uh, uh, sometime, you know, do some uh, conversions and all that. Uh, but in this case, I'm not going to go in those uh, details uh, because in SSIS package, you might want to be like, oh, okay. So 
think about that uh, tomorrow uh, now right now in this uh, mapping maybe i just don't want to use view of the column so you can uh, you maybe delete and uh, maybe delete all that columns different uh, you know columns or whatever you know so it depends uh, uh, which columns you want maybe you want to have some data conversion create new columns uh, so you can use different uh, transformations here maybe drive column or a data conversion call or maybe you have to join data from your so multiple sources and write to the file um, you can play with all the different transformations and uh, generate the required output for your flexible file destination and that's going to be created on your blob storage um, I thank you and uh, I hope uh, this demo will help you to uh, read the data from your on-premises uh, sources and write to the blob storage. Thank you very much and I will see you guys in the next video.